In the early months of the war, and indeed really for the first year of the war, the Western Front, in terms of its nursing services, it, w it was like a melting pot really. There were so many different types of nurse out there on the Western Front. There were the QAs, the fully qualified, fully recognized, regular military nurses. And then there was the reserve of the QA, and they were civilian nurses who had signed up to be QA reserves, so they were working with the QAs. And then from about October onwards, you had territorial force nurses as well. And those three groups were very similar. They were all fully trained professional military nurses, whether regular or reserve. But you also had volunteer nurses, a number of aristocratic women actually, who had enough money to be able to do this, established their own military hospitals. From May 1915 you also had VADs in France. That's a shorthand for a voluntary aid detachment volunteer nurse. Those volunteer nurses had attached themselves to units well before the war and they also had quite a lot of training but they didn't have anything like a full nurse training. They were not professional nurses but they were brought out because of the shortage of professional nurses. Um, they volunteered to do whatever work was needed and a lot of them became very competent nurses. They, um, they were out there on the Western Front for so long that they became as good in terms of the hands-on care, the fundamental nursing care, and some of the more technical work as well. They became as good as some of the professional nurses.